Did you know that the antivirus already built into your Windows PC stops tens of millions of threats every month? But is Microsoft's free Windows security actually good enough to protect you or are you just leaving your digital front door wide open to hackers? Today, I'm settling that debate once and for all. My name is Adullah, you're watching Canada Technology and this is everything you need to know about Windows security and whether or not you need to supplement it with another program. Windows Security, previously called Windows Defender, comes pre-installed on all Windows 10 and 11 systems and provides baseline protection at zero cost. Its core features include uh, real-time threat detection, a built-in firewall with network protection, smart screen technology for web browsing safety, basic parental controls, system performance reports, hardware security features, and ransomware protection. In recent years, Microsoft has significantly improved Defender, transforming it from the inadequate protection it once was into a competent security tool. It's now capable of detecting most common malware, blocking network-based attacks, and flagging suspicious websites. But the question remains, is decent good enough when it comes to your digital security? Despite its improvements, Windows security still ranks around number 20 on the top antivirus solutions in 2025. Its primary limitations include significantly worse offline detection rates, leaving you vulnerable when you're not connected to the internet, no anti-theft protection, no webcam or microphone protection, limited system optimization tool, no password manager, basic customization options, and no VPN unless you pay for a Microsoft 365 subscription. More on this later. And finally, there's also no dark web monitoring or identity theft protection features as well. It also has a noticeable impact on your PC's performance during scans, with tests showing that it can use up to 70% of your CPU for basic protection tasks. Now, several free alternatives claim to outperform Windows security, and here are the top contenders. First up, we have Avast. Avast consistently shows better detection rates than Windows security in independent tests. It offers a more intuitive interface and additional features beyond basic antivirus protection. However, you will face frequent upsells and advertisements pushing you towards paid versions. Then we have Avira. Avira uses a cloud-based scanner that makes it faster and more lightweight than Windows security, and it also includes features like a safe shopping browser extension, free VPN, although limited to 500 MB monthly, a basic password manager, and system optimization tools. Tests show that Avira has better malware detection rate than Windows security, particularly when you're talking offline. Then we have AVG, now owned by the same company as Avast, offering similar protection to Avast. In testing, it detected 100% of malware samples and includes five different scan types. Its firewall significantly outperformed Windows Security's built-in option, and it offers hack check alerts that notify you if your email has been compromised. But for those considering premium protection, several paid options also consistently rank both Windows Security and any free alternatives, starting with Windows Defender. In case you didn't know, Microsoft has a premium offering for antivirus protection which covers most if not all of the drawbacks of Windows Security. You can get email security against phishing and malware, threat hunting, automated responses, identity theft monitoring, password management, and parental controls, with Microsoft 365 subscribers receiving additional security features like unlimited VPN access. There is also cross-platform support, meaning other devices you own will be protected as well. Then we have Bitdefender. Bitdefender earned perfect scores in AV tests evaluations, receiving 6 out of 6 in all categories. In direct comparison, it detected 9 out of 10 malware files in tests where Windows security only caught 1. It offers comprehensive ransomware protection, minimal system impact, and advanced threat detection algorithms. Then we have Norton 360, which also achieved a 100% malware detection rate in independent tests, significantly outperforming Windows security. It includes robust anti-phishing tools and unlimited data VPN, advanced parental controls, dark web monitoring, and a comprehensive password manager. It ranked number one for multiple antivirus comparisons in 2025. Last but not least, we have everybody's favorite bloatware, Casper Sky. Casper Sky is lighter on system resources than many of its competitors, using less RAM but more CPU than Bitdefender. It offers similar detection rates to top contenders but comes with significant controversy as it was banned in the US in September 2024 amid allegations regarding privacy concerns and ties to the Russian government. We also have malware bytes, which while popular doesn't quite match the detection capabilities of top security suites. 
It lacks on access scanning and live customer support compared to competitors like Casper Sky. However, it does excel at removing existing infections and provides a solid second layer of protection. So, who needs what level of protection? Well, Windows security is probably enough if you practice safe browsing habits, you rarely download files from unknown sources, you don't have sensitive financial or personal information stored on your system, and you have a newer, faster computer that won't be slowed down by its scans. Additionally, if you don't need additional features like VPNs or password managers, you can just be fine with Windows security. The free alternatives we talk about make sense if you want slightly better protection without spending money, you have an older computer that needs something more lightweight, you value having features like shopping protection or basic VPN access, and you need better offline protection when you're not connected to the internet. Last but not least, you should be considering paid protection if you store sensitive or financial information on your devices. Your frequently downloaded files are coming from websites that are not as secure. You need comprehensive protection across multiple devices, want additional features like unlimited VPN, identity theft protection or password management, and you need protection for children or less tech-savvy family members. Finally, if you just require business-grade security for work purposes, you have to go down the paid way. For most users, supplementing Windows security with a free alternative like Avira or upgrading to a comprehensive premium solution like Norton or Bid Defender will provide significantly better protection against the increasingly sophisticated threats we face in 2025. Remember, the cost of recovering from identity theft, ransomware or data loss far exceeds the price of decent protection. When it comes to your digital security, good enough might not actually be good enough. To summarize everything, Windows security is good enough if you practice safe browsing, don't store personal or financial info and don't require additional features like VPN or password manager. Get a free one if you want these two features and better online protection and if your life is on your PC then it makes sense to pay to protect it as well. Now I've personally been using Windows security for as long as I have switched to Windows 10 which is around 6-7 years at this point in time so I'm pretty fine with it. But what's your experience with antivirus protection? Has Windows security kept you safe or have you found better alternatives? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and if you need even more help than we can give you in these videos, do consider getting a membership. And I'll see you in the next video.